The Department of Justice is investigating the NBA because Ice Cube has put out claims that the NBA is putting out an anti uh, over an anti competitive claim against Ice Cube's Big Three League. So apparently, Ice Cube is saying that he that the NBA has been keeping sponsors and uh, television of um, producers and these TV stations and a lot of things is going on because contracts. And a lot of contracts are not being signed by Ice Cube because the NBA is is basically sabotaging the Big Three League. Is what Ice Cube is pretty much getting to. Dilo, how do you feel about this being a possibility that the NBA has actually done this? They've come out and said they've been supportive, but Ice Cube says that they haven't been. So, what do you think? What do you think about this, Dilo? I I can one hundred percent see this being the case in the NBA and Big Three. In the Big Three since its inception in 2017 has had quite a following yeah. and has grown its grown its audience while it's you know been progressing and expanding you know it's a great product i believe you have retired professional players playing in a 3 on 3 format and some of them still can play mm-hmm. um and, and you know it just gives you a bit of nostalgia so to speak that you're seeing players that you Older groups that you watch when you were, you know, really into sports for the younger crowd, you can you can watch players that are retired that you grew up watching um, and again in a 303 format. So I definitely can see it because it could be a threat to the uh, NBA in some regard, especially if they get these major contracts um, and, and survive. And we've seen this before. The NBA, when they were going through hard times, they well, we haven't seen the the sabotaging, but we've seen a product which was the NBA struggling to draw fanship and draw contracts from different markets and whatever TV contracts and whatnot mm-hmm. um, because they didn't have a great product. But then they got Magic and Bird, mm-hmm. and the the league started to see its viewership go up. They cleaned up some of the drug use and all of that. And, and the viewership started to go up. We we know basketball is different than football. There's been a lot of competition as of lately in football with uh, professional football where these different leagues pop up. They're there for a year. They get TV contracts to, to show the games because America loves football. And then for whatever reason, they fizzle out. Basketball is a bit different. You know, it, it's a lot of moving parts that it takes to make a successful professional football league. Mm-hmm. Basketball is a bit different. Like I just said, you, it takes maybe one, two good pieces in, in basketball and you can it can be successful because people will want to see that individual mm-hmm. or see those collections of individuals. Um, so I definitely can see this happening because I think the NBA, as far as them sabotaging the big three, I think I can see them using their leverage to say, all right, listen, don't, you know, don't be negative against them, but just slow, you know, slow poke them. Take your time with working with them. Mm-hmm. Let's see if they survive because they might not even be here. You, you're giving them all this money, and then next year they might not be might not even be here. So I definitely can see that happen. I know I rambled there, but I can right see there. it happening, and I can um, under understand why the NBA could be threatened by the big three. Again, because mm-hmm. it is a good product. You know, it's just taking retired players from professional, the NBA, and using them in a big three format, which people always love to see. Because you got, because you have some current players, like you know, we talked about Jason Tatum in the first in the first uh, segment here. He played just to, as kind of like a charity thing, kind of trying to Jalen Brown. And, no, Jason Tatum. I thought Jalen Brown. I thought it was Jalen Brown. Tripping, was it J- oh, you're right. You know what? You're right. It is. It was Jalen Brown. I get. I get them mixed up. I apologize. You're right. It was Jalen Brown. He just went back. How you get them mixed up? I, like, I don't. I don't know. know the the JBJ. <laughs> <laughs> How you get them mixed up? I don't know. And for whatever reason, it's just the names that I get mixed up sometimes. Yeah. They the look. I know who they are when I see them. It's just the names sometimes. Yeah. I'm bad with names. I'm great with faces. Bad with names. But, <laughs> but, um, but it, it's crazy because, like I said, some some. Uh, current players are going to play in the big three every now and then, you know, during the offseason season, stuff like that. But the, the NBA said that they've been supportive of the big three. They just didn't want to invest. And then Ice Cube was like, hold on. Ain't nobody asked y'all to invest. 
just stop mm-hmm. telling people not to invest in us. You know what right. I'm saying? Because we don't need y'all to invest. Man, Ice Cube got money upon money. He don't necessarily need investments to make this thing go crazy. Mm-hmm. But he wants, but he wants, but he wants the support. So if he gets the and this is why I say that. This is why I say that. This is why I say that. Because with the way Ice Cube has his own production company, he has his own money. Mm-hmm. If he really wanted to put a product out there without investments, he could. He he one hundred percent could because he can he can I, use his own production company to to broadcast it. He can use his own money to promote it. He has networks and connections that he can use to get. He don't necessarily he don't need the NBA, but he wants the the people to come see it. So he needs those bigger brands to come back his league. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But no, what it makes sense. And then, no, what you said makes sense in theory. Mm-hmm. However. And Ice Cube does have money, and I don't want to. I don't want to act like he does not have money. That's not mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But when we talk about professional leagues, when we talk about these type of entities, it takes a lot more than the money. Again, no, n- nothing thrown at Ice Cube. It right. takes a lot more than the money that Ice Cube has to keep these leagues afloat. True. Um. So, true, true, true. so the sponsorships and the investments, he does need that because he will. He, in order to make sure that they can do the things to take care of the logistics and run the league in the way, in the manner that they want to and expand, they, they do need these sponsorships just like, and it's, it's kind of ironic, but just like the WNBA, mm-hmm. um, you know, they, I think they, the big three may draw, if we're being honest, they may draw a bigger crowd um, previously to this year previously to this year than the WNBA when it mm-hmm. comes to in person like people actually attending actually the, attending the games and watching you. Yeah. Um however you know the WNBA is struggling. Uh it, well you would say they are struggling but they get subsidized by the NBA. Mm-hmm. And so I'm sure Ice Cube uh, even though he does have money to to float it for a little bit would happily welcome those investments. Because it only keeps him, it only allows him to keep the league able to survive much that much longer, and it also helps him to find a way to be more profitable. If if mm-hmm. you know if they're not already profitable, which I don't know the the logistics or the economics behind the league, but I would only imagine. So that's the only reason I was like, eh, I don't. Yeah, know. I think yeah, yeah. he does want the investment, and and he he should he should one hundred percent get them because it's it's. It's something to watch whenever the basketball season isn't going on or a little bit during the season. Ice Cube's network that he can get these guys to come in and it'd be a show for the people. And he does a lot Mm -hmm. of it for charity. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't do a lot of it for money, but I, it, it you know it would be crazy if we actually look this up and then the big three is actually profitable and the WNBA is not. That's kind of crazy. That is yeah. wild, bro. That is wild to think about. But but they don't have the rosters that. that the WNBA. Of course has not. Also. Nah, nah, not at all. Not at all. I mean, there's star power in the WNBA. They're just they're just not the WNBA just isn't profitable because it's nobody's watching, nobody's attending, and that's that's mm-hmm. crazy. You know, that's just crazy. But but I mean, I I think. If they, I can see it happening too that the NBA is is somewhat sabotaging, but I don't understand why they would. I mean, to be perfectly honest, a lot of what the big three does would bring a lot more publicity to the NBA if the NBA decided to back it, and they don't have to invest. Just stop stopping other people from investing, and that's mm-hmm. what Ice Cube wants them to do. So, I mean, I can see it happening, but that's the, that, that's the last all I'm gonna give to it. I just think it is a good product that Ice Cube is putting out. And it was a really, really good idea that he did this. It's, you know, mm-hmm. But if the NBA is doing it, it's, it's, it's shady as hell, bro, for sure. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far and you like what you see, there's a video on the screen right here. Make sure you look at that and view that. We think you're going to love it. Also, we still got the 450 subscriber goal, so hit that subscribe button right there, too. And we're on all your streaming platforms, wherever you find your podcast.